In this video, I will tell you how to fix your PS4 controller if it isn't working on your PC. First off, I need to emphasize that the first two methods are if the light on your controller is soft or just flashing, and in the ones later on we will be talking about cases when you have a steady light, meaning it's connected. But there may still be further issues for why it's not working. For the first method, we will be talking about Bluetooth connections. If you're trying to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your uh, PC using a Bluetooth connection, maybe try using a wired connection to make sure that the controller is working. And if you're not too fond of the wired method uh, and the wired connection to your computer, maybe try using another device uh, with Bluetooth and connecting it to your computer to see if everything is okay with uh, your uh, Bluetooth ability on your computer. Now, for the second method, we have the wired method. If you're using a wired connection, for example, you have your USB cable connected to your computer for your controller, there might be an issue with... Uh, the USB port that you're using on your computer, you might have chosen a broken one or one that is full of dust or other particles that is impeding your connection uh, with your computer. Try using a different USB port. After you have uh, tried changing the USB port, another thing that you need to know is that you shouldn't use USB hubs because that also might pose a problem when connecting your PlayStation 4 controller to your computer. Then another thing uh, to consider in this wired method connection is that you should consider changing a, the wire that you're using to connect your co controller if the port is okay. To check the port, you can plug in another device into the same USB port and see it that way. If you're a Steam user, maybe you should consider for this method to enable uh, support for your controller using Steam. To do that, you will start off on your Steam screen and navigate to the top left, press that button, press the settings button, and when you get into the settings button, scroll down until you get to controller. When you get to controller, here on the external gamepad settings, you make sure that you have enabled Steam input for PlayStation controllers by pressing this button right here. For the next method, we will be talking about going into device manager of your computer. Scroll down and press the search button on your taskbar, and in here, write device manager. Then open that up and scroll to the bottom until you get to the Universal Series Bus controllers. Open this up and then locate your controller. For me, it's one of these composite devices. You select it, you press right click, and you press uninstall device. After you have done that, you just take your controller, unplug it from your computer, and plug it back in again. And for the last method, maybe you should try connecting your controller to a different PC or device. If the controller works on the other device, it's likely, it's likely an issue with your computer. If the controller still doesn't work, there could be a problem with your controller. 